There it is. Hi, treetops. We'll get to you in a second. Please be advised. The following presentation is not intended for minors. That's it. It's like it's 10.30 here and I'm like, I I'm getting really sleepy, dude. I don't think I can keep going. Yeah? You must... You must save you must save the dragons in my honor. Yeah. Right. Don't do not stop on my account. <laughs> but yeah, since I'm a uh, fucking wagey and I actually have to get up somewhat early tomorrow, fellas, dudes, I am going to be calling it a night here, but Jake will move on with his tradition here. Everyone, please keep in company. It was great to be here. This was this was good fun. I'm it happy is. to finally you it know was great be able to you, see someone man. playing yeah, spider. Yeah. It, yep, feel, yep, it feels and... good to share, like, my childhood video game to people. Yeah, no, like, and this is something that I just heard so much about. It's fun to be able to see it played as well and just, like, just chill. Yeah. And you know what? Maybe soon it will be time for me to just jack back in. <laughs> uh oh But oh, yeah, man. I must get going for now. Jake, good luck. I'll see you a little later, my guys. All right, so I'll catch you later, Bruno. Towards. Yep, yep. Have a good night, everyone. And Jake, happy birthday again. Thanks, man. I'll catch you later. It was nice having uh, Bruno over. Now it's just you and me, chat. Just you and me. You fat sack of crap. <laughs> I knew I'd screw that up. So, how much did Bruno manage to join us for 44% of the game? That's still a sizable chunk. But yeah, in Bruno's honor, we will finish the rest of the game as big head, tiny winged uh, Red Rose Spyro. Alright, so if I remember correctly, I believe this is also like the last level that uh uh egg thieves actually show up as well. When I become big and strong, like which is you, really I'll weird. They just decided all. to Until then, stop adding uh egg thieves like halfway through. Might be a limitation thing, I don't know. Kind of a weird choice. God, it is so quiet without Bruno, I will say. Oh, <laughs> uh, how did I screw up that jump? Oh well. At least this is like the one level like where you can't actually like fall off. The one downside of uh, Spyro 1, you don't have like the little uh, like glitter jump that uh, Spyro 2 and 3 have that you can do after a glide. Alright, what if I try gliding from here again? Yeah, there we go. Alright, you second crap, get back here. There we go. I believe that's a lost egg. Yep, that's the lost egg. Really weird that they just stopped adding more eggs, like, halfway through the game. Alright, now we got the annoying cave bit. Right, kill you. No, no, leave me alone. No, you don't. And I remember the, uh, the PS1 models of these things were absolutely terrifying to me as a kid. Now, they're kind of, like, too cartoony to me. Might just be, like, the fact that PS1 models in general look creepy. I don't bump into anything. I say as I bumped into something. God damn it. Alright, so I have the flight left. Ow. What I get for being an idiot and playing him. And... Yeah, we have Blowhard. Alright, so we have the flight and the boss left. Uh, at least the uh, boss levels are really easy to 100% because they tend to be just like a straight line. Reach Assault here? Uh, I didn't get the skill point because a random enemy hit me. Damn. I get a skill point for completing this level without getting hurt. I thought it was like not getting hurt by Blowhard, but no, it's not getting hurt in general. Ah, well. Wait, I missed gems? Oh, shit. I did not realize that. I was too hasty. Alright, let's do this, then we'll go back. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. Ooh, nearly fell in the water. Ooh, that was... that was way too close. Alright, back to Blowhard so we can grab this one gem that I missed. Man, what did I say before? <laughs> At least 100%ing uh, boss levels are easy because they're just a straight line. Up. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, the sound effect of it dropping. It's right there. How did I miss it? Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> That's so dumb.
Also being that weird glitch uh, that happens from time to time where Sparx just refuses to pick up a gem when you're right next to it. Alright, the Beast Makers. Everyone's least favorite world. Chad, we're nearly at uh, treetops. Oh no. Nah. And just when we thought Bruno wasn't around anymore. Didn't realize that Bruno moved to the bayou. Oh, it's Cletus, the slack gold, you're cool. There it is. Hi, treetops. We'll get to you in a second. God, look at that rad dude. He's 90s as shit. Ah, fuck off. <laughs> God damn it. That is one thing that I do find kind of annoying, is like just the constant placement of uh, uh, bases that you have to charge to destroy right next to cliffs. And right, next up, Misty Bog. Time to get our shit kicked in by frogs. <laughs> Happy Womb Excavation Day. Huh? Man, kind of weird that they reused this level's theme as the uh, end credits theme. And a Bruno enjoy Spyro. He really enjoyed a lot of the uh, dragon designs. Because they fucking knew he would. But yeah, his general thoughts were, it's like, it's not a lot of do, but the game has a lot of heart. Which is like, yeah. Yeah, best thing about the remake. Yeah. 100%. It's kind of a shame that he doesn't get to experience the whole game with me, but hey, that's how things go. Alright, let's do the difficult bit first. Apparently the difficult bit is jumping on this fucking log. <laughs> yep, there we go. Time zones, man, yeah. It does kind of suck that we're like, what, 12 hours apart? Just about? So it's like midnight for him over there? There we go, alright. Gotta hate those frogs. And right, let's see if I actually make this jump. I remember last year, for some reason, I couldn't make that jump to save my life. Oh yeah, another fun little thing uh, that Why I showed Bruno though. Releasing me? It's like, um, like you can probably tell, uh, hey, yeah, we have Retro Spyro, big head, tiny wings. <laughs> There's that. We showed him that and he was shocked to learn that Spyro 3 has um, skateboarding in it. <laughs> so he showed him the skateboarding section. I don't think he's, like, ever seen anything more 90s than a dragon riding a skateboard. Tony Hawk Pro Skater was huge back in the day, it sure was. Really, skateboarding in general was huge back in the day. Hey look, it's Reinhardt! I love that I gotta point that out every year. <laughs> like, hey look, it's Reinhardt from former popular game Overwatch. And a part of me, like, you, like a part of me misses uh, playing Overwatch. Then another part of me is like, don't you remember how angry that game used to make you? I'm like, oh yeah. God, I still find it hilarious that like the main just, uh, just, justification, there we go, I was about to say Chuck's position. Main justification for calling it Overwatch 2 was the PvE, which they fucking cancelled. What makes it a sequel? It's a shop overhaul. That's literally all it is. Still can't believe it's like 60 bucks for a Diablo skin. In Overwatch 2. Oh, that's mad. That's insane. Alright, Chad, you ready for some cock and ball torture? It's time for treetops. Still to this day, it baffles me that, like, the, uh, the kiosk demos, when this was first announced, the two levels that you could play was the first level and treetops. Why? I get hit by the first enemy. Off to a fantastic start. Alright, let's see if I can do this first try. Sharp turn! Oh, I, mm, oh, I hit the ball. Oh, Rudge, yeah, another thing that you missed they found hilarious. You know how I said in uh, uh, my discords, like, man, I can't wait for this stream because I know for a fact my grandmother is going to forget that I'm busy and call midstream. Yeah, she called midstream. <laughs> we had her on stream, that was fun. All right, so that's the hard part out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> that's golden, yeah. Yeah, she did the thing that she always does. It's like she sings me happy birthday like I'm a child. <laughs> like, I I even opened up with, this is Jake from switchaboo.com, welcome to switchaboo live. You're currently live on air. How can I uh, take? Uh, how can I take your call? 
she didn't take me seriously. She just kept going. <laughs> like after she was done, I'm like, but but seriously, we're live. You have anything to say to our audience right now? <laughs> she got she got kind of nervous there for a second. It was funny. <laughs> it did warn her. I did. Oh uh, well, I I love it a bit though, and that's all that matters. All right, now I just gotta remember how I actually do this correctly. Because weirdly enough, like I remember how to do the hard jump, but not the the easy jump. Okay, take a right turn here, go this way. There we go. Uh, how's D and D uh, Harry Potter book uh, treating you? Not gonna lie, I haven't actually like had a chance to read it yet. I've been busy with like a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll finally be able to read it later when uh, this stream is rendering. But hey, I'll finally be able to, you know, like do some Strixhaven stuff. That'll be fun. If you know, plans come together. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, at least we're done with treetops. Thank God. Don't have to do that for another year. Uh, do that one season of Adventure Zone, but actually good. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like even I would mess that up. But yeah, it's a real shame about uh, that one season of uh, Adventure Zone though, because like, I, I was enjoying it, but like, there were problems. Yeah, that reminds me, I'm actually like super behind on the current season of Adventure Zone. Like I was finally caught up with all my podcasts and stuff, like for a while. Then I got super busy again. It's like, god damn it. Like, I do like in the uh, the current season. Uh, fucking. Uh, their dad does something so inexplicably stupid. <laughs> like, Griffin had absolutely no idea how to deal with it. And <laughs> it just kind of fucked with the plot. And now his character is embody. Uh, em his character's soul is now embodying, like, the puppet of Pinocchio. Uh, in the process of trying to uh, catch up to Unexpectables, I'm uh, going to start re-listening with Ashley to introduce it to her. Ah, I need to do that at some point. Just actually listen to it. Alright, time for the hardest jump in the game. Oh, so close. Nearly made it. <laughs> Nearly screwed it up, I mean. I still have no idea why that jump there specifically is like the hardest jump in the original game. It's so weird. Uh, now that you watch uh, TFS and uh, understand Takahata's humor, yeah. And we're done with Metalhead. Now we just got the flight and we're done with the uh, Peacemakers. I forgot Wild Flight was this one. Uh, this is like my least favorite flight level. It's like all the other flight levels, like everything is all like put together nicely in a straight line. Well, this one, like everything is just put everywhere. Uh, I just wasted a shit ton of time. I'm not gonna make this one. Especially when the camera's freaking out like that. Now we gotta find where the last couple of boats are. Uh. Hey, first try! And here I thought I was going to fuck it up. <laughs> 